Friday of the third week of Easter, Friday the 6th of May 2022. First reading. Reading from the Book of Acts. Saul was still breathing threats to slaughter the Lord's disciples. He had gone to the high priest and asked for letters addressed to the synagogue in Damascus that would authorise him to arrest and take to Jerusalem any followers of the way, men or women, that he could find. Suddenly, while he was travelling to Damascus, and just before he reached the city, there came a light from heaven all around him. He fell to the ground, and then he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? He asked, and the voice answered, I am Jesus, and you are persecuting me. Get up now and go into the city, and you will be told what you have to do. The men travelling with Saul stood there speechless, for though they heard the voice, they could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but even with his eyes wide open, he could see nothing at all and they had to lead him into Damascus by the land. For three days he was without his sight, and took neither food nor drink. A disciple called Ananias, who lived in Damascus, had a vision in which he heard the Lord say to him, Ananias, when he replied, Here I am, Lord, the Lord said, You must go to Straight Street and ask at the house of Judas for someone called Saul who comes from Tarsus. At this moment he is praying, having had a vision of a man called Ananias coming in and laying hands on him to give him back his sight. When he heard that, Ananias said, Lord, several people have told me about this man and all the harm he has been doing to your saints in Jerusalem. He has only come here because he holds a warrant from the chief priests to arrest everybody who invokes your name. The Lord replied, You must go all the same, because this man is my chosen instrument to bring my name before pagans and pagans' kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he himself must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went. He entered the house and at once laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, I have been sent by the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, so that you may recover your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, it was as though scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. So he was baptized there and then, and after taking some food, he regained his strength, began preaching in the synagogues. Jesus is the Son of God. Responsorial Psalm Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. I praise the Lord, all you nations. Proclaim him, all you people. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of John. The Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? They said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day, for my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I, who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven. Not like the bread our ancestors ate, they are dead, but anyone who eats this bread will live forever. He taught this doctrine at Capernaum in the synagogue. Gospel of the Lord.